information that will change your approach, why wouldn't you want it? Only if there's an agenda behind your decision. One day I'm looking through these manuscripts and I'm, I'm looking at every single detail and I come across this. This is in the book of Ezekiel and the missing vowel, the one the scribes took out and didn't want us to pronounce. There it was. The God of creation is bigger than the boxes that we've created for him. And there's some of you here today that in your gut, you feel in your gut that he is calling back to his name. This is a sign of great things that are happening, that people around the world are being stirred. Something in their heart is drawing them into the covenant, into the God of Israel. There is nothing we could do more important than embrace him in everything he has revealed to us. Now, this is a biblical prophecy that I think we're increasing, I'm increasingly seeing around the world being fulfilled. I'm seeing people like the Methodist pastor and the football player and people who I would never think have any portion with the house of Jacob, with my people. They're coming and they're telling me they love the Torah. That, you know, keep... And God needs a remnant of people that when it is time for us, can I say this, when it is time for us to stand up and be the people of God, we're willing to stand in the name of the one who can whoop Goliath. And if it takes sword, if it takes fire, if it takes conflict, if it takes problems, we are coming to set somebody free.